Hello everyone, I am back with a new tutorial and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people seem to fail, out, fail at and that is debugging. Um, I get so many questions every week about the same problems that something is wrong with my tutorials or that something doesn't work and so on and usually it all comes down to the same thing, they made a mistake somewhere and they don't see it, they say their code is exactly like my tutorials, I take a two minute look at it and I find that they forgot something simple or they didn't see something or something like that. So I'm going to talk a bit about debugging now and how we debug our code in the trigger editor uh, because I think it will be helpful for a lot of people. The first thing you want to do when you want to debug code is to go into file here, go to preferences, test document, and you want to check this show trigger debugging window. You have to make sure you shut down the game, else this window will not appear. And if you want to turn the window off, you have to shut the game down before you test your map again, else the window will keep, keep appearing. <coughs> Hit OK, and we'll get back to the debug triggering window later. What I've tried to set up here is a simple spawner script uh, that will first add some waves with the add wave function and then there's a periodic event that should spawn units, spawn the wave, modify the current wave and just spawn the next wave. There's a killer that kills any unit that enters the end region and Oh, my control button got stuck apparently. And there's an order thing here that whenever units enter the spawn region, it's ordered to move to the end region. And that's it. It's fairly simple. I've intentionally added a few very common bugs into this, and we're going to see if we can find them. I also started the map earlier, and I got some surprising results that I didn't expect, so it seems perhaps there are a few more bugs that I didn't intentionally add. So I'm just going to start the game now. I'm not going to um, do fraps and crap. It takes too long. I th still think we can see what's going on if I just have the window open. Let me just position it right. It takes a bit longer to start once you have the trigger debugging on. So here we are in game. And after five seconds, my spawning thing should trigger. But you see, I just get a bunch of errors here. The beauty of the tr trigger debugging window, which we have here, is that first of all, you have a lot of useful information. You can see all your threads running, you can see what triggers you have, how long you have been running and so on. But best of all, you get all your errors. If we just pause the game. Once again, I forgot that F10 stops my recording, so I have to click it manually, and there we go. So as I was saying, all your errors appear in this window, and it appears that we are getting a shitload of errors here. Ho ho! Fun errors. Alright, so what's happening now is that it's not spawning. Something is wrong in our spawner function. So let's go in and see if we can't fix that. I'm just going to open the triggers here, and we're going to go into spawn wave. You see, if we go back to trigger debugging, GT spawner func, it says here, and uh, <coughs> this is probably GT spawner func, this one here, we can click view raw data, I think. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, the, sometimes it can be a bit hard because these um, names you get out here are actually not the names you set up in the editor. This is the name that the editor assigns to your functions. So GT spawner func could basically be spawn wave or spawner, but since they usually use your name in the middle of the function, so mine is spawner here and spawn here, so thus it should be the spawner. 
So the spawner is crashing. However, when the spawner calls an action inside it, like it does here, it calls spawn wave. Any error caused inside spawn wave will be shown as an error that occurs inside the spawner. So this can be a bit confusing if you have functions. Your function might return an error, but in the trigger debugging window, you will see your error as coming from the trigger that triggered the function. So if you have functions triggering other functions and so on, this can be a pain to track down. So let's try to s see if we can figure out what's wrong here. Uh, back to trigger debugging. Actually, never had this error before. I suspect this is because I use a record. And um, I think I know what it is. It wasn't the error I was hoping to get. <laughs> but that's all right. I intentionally left a bug in my um, add wave function. But should it be this one? Hmm. What we're going to do is... That is a weird error. Hmm. Let's just go through the map from start and see if we find any bugs. Add wave. So in add wave, I intentionally left out a bug where it doesn't store the wave number. So I'm just going to fix that now to see if that helps. So I increased it here and now I store it back again here after I added a new wave. Let's see if that fixes it. <laughs> it might not. Hey, there we go. My first units have spawned. All right, so that was due to me not increasing that variable. I didn't get the error I was hoping to get, but eh. All right, sorry about that. Once again, I hit F10 without thinking. It's like a reflex now to hit it before I go back to the editor. So anyway, we fixed one bug, but we had another bug. It didn't spawn... Um, if we go back into the game here, you'll see it doesn't spawn each wave type. It just spawns a bunch of infestors. Another thing I'm noticing is that only a few infestors are getting sent to ki get killed, not everything. So let's start with the um, bug itself, so that it doesn't spawn the correct wave. If we look at my triggers, I would assume that um, it has something to do in my spawner function. So what I would normally do if this was a complicated bug is I would go in here, I would 